we'll just come back to the next preparation of uh, halo arenes in the first preparation we have, we, we have done or uh, we have prepared all the four four fluoro chloro bromo and iodo from benzene now this is the next reaction let us see so here <laughs> we have d carboxylation of sodium salts of chlorobenzoic acid wow such a big sentence let us see what how to write this so what is decarboxylation decarboxylation is removal of carbon dioxide okay yeah sodium salts of chlorobenzoic acid the parent atom is benzene they have given me sodium salts right sodium salt of chlorobenzoic acid so there is one chlorine also they said sodium salt yes why did i write this they said sodium salt of sodium salt of chlorobenzoic acid benzoic acid is coh if i take out this h and replace sodium sodium salts of benzoic acid now i have to prepare my arx observe carefully right now i am going to introduce or add to this naoh in the presence of calcium oxide what is this combination studied in grade 11 sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide together are called they are called what is it called it is soda lime right done so i am going to pick up soda lime so i'll take out this bracket here so that it is not confusing to me so NaOH is again the same CaO these two are called so I write here NaOH plus CaO is called soda lime done so what is it going to do now I said decarboxylation observe carefully take your pen Na2CO3 observe carefully i am going to take out because i have to prepare your halo arenes right so i am going to take out let me write here n a2 n a2 c o3 sodium carbonate done is it over yes over now what else is left this has come out of the reaction now this particular uh, hydrogen shifts and it forms your chlorobenzene done this is your chlorobenzene so you're you're preparing your aryl halides from decarboxylation i've done the decarboxylation now question is what sort of question is uh, question asked from this particular reaction let us see now if this calcium oxide is not there what is going to happen this particular sodium hydroxide now i'll write a prepare a question frame a question what is the role of calcium oxide in soda lime what does it do yes let's see if i am not adding calcium oxide if i am proceeding only with sodium hydroxide you know what happens this sodium hydroxide immediately if it is combining with moisture or the water content in that immediately it is going to become a thick mass thick mass yes it's going to become it's, it's going to harden if it is going to harden the process of decarboxylation is not done yes so to prevent this formation or this, to prevent this thick mass formation of sodium hydroxide what do we do we are going to add calcium oxide so when calcium oxide is going to when you are adding this this is going to provide the required temperature for formation of your chlorobenzene along with decarboxylation process so calcium hydroxide is allowing it's providing the required temperature to proceed the reaction for this is the main rule otherwise this immediately gets converted as we have studied so we don't want this to happen we add this and finally maintain the temperature 